today we did not do any yard work it rained all week here where we're at in texas and the ground again is it's just muddy it's soaked so we decided to not uh, pursue anything with the yard renovation but uh, I figured I'd give you guys the close-ups of the Garand since I didn't, I wasn't able to do that with the GoPro. But there they are. Those are my two Garands. This one is the one I got from the CMP. This one I bought from a gentleman at a gun show. He was a retired military, and uh, he I think he was the second owner of that. He had bought it from the original owner who ordered that one from the CMP back in 1991. I couldn't get the full backstory from him because you know he was an older gentleman that you know was retired. This one here, I think there was probably maybe some things done to it already to, you know, bring it up to snuff, per se. A little bit of a close-up on the buttstock here, guys. You can see some of the uh, characteristics, you know, the damage here. Look at some chipping in the wood. Uh, deep gouges and things like that. Autofocus holds, hopefully. Um, I did not see any cartouches when I inspected it. There is this right here, which I don't know if that's a cartouche. I don't think I've, in all my reading in, about Garant, I don't think I've seen anything like that one. So, I could be wrong though. If anyone out there recognizes that, Please comment below so I know what it is. But there was no P. At least I didn't see one. You guys can like my other one up here has got the P. Right, well, you guys can see it right off the bat, right? Boom! As soon as I lifted it, right. Um, and then on this one on the other side, there is the. I want to say it's the DoD cartouche. Couldn't really exactly make it out. I don't think it. Uh, it might be the CMP. No, it's got to be the DOD one because it's got the P stamp on it. So this one's a 3.4 million. So I don't even know if this one really saw any combat. That one there. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I'm guessing for both. You know, I don't, I don't know if either of them saw combat. I'm guessing this one did since it's a 2.2 mil. But you never know. Let's see where we left off, right about here. And again, guys, I apologize, the lighting sucks in here. I did open the garage a little bit in the garage door. Try to help get the lighting mo better, but let's go down and see some of these gouges here. I haven't cleaned it or anything yet. Um, it does have a nice film <laughs> on it, um, which, you know, just shows its age. As you can see, this is the fuel grade down here. Um, you know, some of the bluing there is rubbed off and whatnot. I totally forgot to bring a round out through a 30 odd six round, but I'll show you there. Fuel grade again, so you guys can see 2.2 million. It's autofocus. I'm sorry, guys. All right, we'll flip it under so you guys can catch the underneath here. Right down here. Let's see. You know, the chipping there in the wood. Oh, is that a P right there? No, that's optical illusion maybe. I don't know. It must probably just optical illusion. With the camera and the lighting and the, all that. Pretty good chips there. I don't think that crack goes all the way through. I don't think it's like a like a crack crack, if you know what I mean. Um, I think it's a really good gouge. So, and then again, there's another one of those right here. You guys can see that. And yeah, again, uh, as far as the cartouches go, I do not. I did not see. I could not make out any cartouches at all. So, there's another good one right there, huh? 
right there too. Go down all the way in the underside here for you guys. Focus, come on. There you go. Inside there, it's got some pretty good gouges. going to give you guys a quick overall of the rifle. Probably do another video showing all that kind of stuff. Not too bad though. I know it looks kind of weird. It's upside down. Right, so that one's not really like gouges. It's just like I think it's it must have been numbered right here. Maybe. I don't know. One, it looks like maybe that's like a one and a zero and then a third number. And then there again, there's that, that mark again right there. See, guys? So. Show you guys the top. Like it's focusing on the words instead of the rifle. Again, Springfield Army Armory 2.2. Not too bad, huh? Is, again, guys, this is the field grade one. So, yeah, again, Good. somebody speeding up my street it really makes me uh, angry. Um, so that's it for the field grade, guys. Again, I don't know. The exact backstory behind it, other than the guy I bought it from was the second owner of it. He had bought it from the guy that ordered it originally from the CMP back in 1991. On the box itself, because he, he, it came with the box, I didn't have the paperwork at all. Um, on the box, there was an item condition, which uh, the grade was B, which I think means that it was just it was a serviceable rifle that was ready to be issued. So, sure on there. So I, again, I don't know again if this is the original stock. I'm gonna guess that it might be the original stock that was on, you know, when it was bought back in '91, but it could have been replaced. So I, I don't know. If this is a field grade, service grade, or anything like that, rack, I don't I doubt it's a rack grade. Back then, you know, 91, there were quite a few grands out and available. And then this one, uh, come on, focus. Springfield Armory, 3.4 million. Nice. And then you guys saw the cartouche down here. The one for the P. And then the other side of it. The uh, pretty sure it's the DOD cartouche there. That's it for this video. Hopefully, you enjoyed the close ups of the field grade Garand and my other Garand, which I'm not sure of the grade. I definitely am happy with my order of the field grade from the CMP. I think once I get it cleaned up, it's gonna turn out to be a really nice rifle. And again, folks, if you guys like the videos that we're putting together, Please hit that like button down below, comment, subscribe, and all that kind of stuff, you know. And we'll see you on the stream.